Okay, and last night it was a clear night for the first time after many weeks. So I went and just tried to see the comment Punsbrook. And <laughs> I did. I saw it. Uh, it's very easy because it's near the constellation uh, triangulum. It's around 5 to 10 uh, degrees, depending on the time of the night, toward the direction of northwest. So what you do, you find these three stars, which are the marker on one corner of the uh, uh, triangulum. You can see them here also. It's very easy in the binocular. You can just never can make a mistake. The three stars, relatively bright, close together. And then you make up the rest of the triangulum and that is the tip of it then this is the m33 and from there you go here this is the star uh, which is here marked by the 91 this is a magnitude 4 near 5 a star and then epsilon and then the comet last night was here just beside this uh, star here and uh, um, it's very low at the moment so I couldn't put a tabletop telescope just to because that would mean that houses and trees will be blocking my view so I used the binocular this uh, 750 was a nice choice on that but uh, I want tonight to try this uh, giant binocular which is the 20 by 80. It's practically double the size of any telescope I wanted to use on tabletop. So I'm going to use that. Very easy, brighter than the triangulum uh, galaxy, which is here. And the star, was uh, the comet was here. So it's very easy, it's quite bright, magnitude 5, I thought that was, or even brighter, uh, probably 4, 7, something like that, compared with the you know, magnitude of this, uh, this here, I'll mark it here actually, it's easier, um, 91 and uh, new. So we we'll start from this corner, just come down it is here easy when you look from the uh, on the horizon this is just almost like a vertical line you come down toward the horizon five to ten degrees above it you can see the um, that comet Ponsbrook uh, I made a drawing I will show it after this but um, you have to see it yourself it's quite bright for such a low object I could see it through you no know, haze and a little bit cloud or even so if you have a clear horizon, just try to see this. I'm going tonight, if it is not very cloudy, or at the moment it looks all, all right, blue sky everywhere. I may try with this giant binocular to see it. This is 50 millimeters, seven by 50. This is 20 by 80, practically like two, uh, you know, star, two of the sky watchers, star travel, STAT two of that so it gives me a, a aperture almost like a four inch telescope and yeah definitely we'll try that between these two stars here it was easy to see quite bright this is how the comet looks in the sky safari uh, it generally shows that this is a circumpolar uh, uh, object for many locations in the northern hemisphere in northern Europe I should say and uh, it's quite uh, easy to see not as bright as what you see here in us in photography probably you can see or in dark location the appearance of it is more like what you see in this image and the stars around it uh, last night was like 5 to magnitude and 4.8 uh, I hope that you can find it it is easy target with a binocular easy to see